I've booked a consultation. Really? Why? Because I've got these stupid implants. NHS is saying they'll take them out, but they won't put anything back in. Oh, God, you can't do that. Obviously, it's like a shitty situation. Mm. Obviously, the positive side, I've yeah. got a new set of boobs. Right, okay. And I can change what I don't like about these boobs. I was thinking maybe go a little bit bigger. No. But I know everyone's going to be like, don't, don't do you it. Dare. Don't need to. Don't want these big tits and that. I'm not little... talking massive, <laughs> massive, like, yeah. porno don't. tits. Do you know what I'm really scared about, though? Because I, the last time I had my boobs done, I fainted all the time. Oh, my God. I know. Stress you don't need. What is the fascination with boobs? All it is is like a round thing with like <laughs> <laughs> with milk in it. Yeah, like why do women love boobs? Does it go back to like mums? You know our boys like. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like because kind of. obviously it's like motherly, isn't it? Yeah. I think, um, no, but some boys love bums. They don't like boobs. What's that got to do with it? The dad. <laughs> Lauren Goodyear wouldn't shut up and she kept butting in and made things worse and really? I just hated it. I think genuinely, if I'm going to be honest with you, you might not like hearing it, but maybe she wants to know what it's like being single. Over the last year, you've kind of led the single life. You're out all the time, out of your mates, you chat to girls, you're very friendly with girls, very friendly. I wouldn't be happy if it was my boyfriend. I'm, like, do you know what I mean? I'm always on your side, I'd never like, you know. Do you mean by that, but like, I just feel you both lead separate relationships. When I'm in a relationship, I like to do everything together. But that's what we used to be like. That's what we, we used to be like, yeah. So something's gone wrong there. So maybe that's why she's taking this time for space. Maybe she wants to make it work, so she needs this period to be on that's her fine. own. That's fine, I'll give that to her. But what I won't do, Sam, is if I hear one thing about her, you know, that she's kissed another boy or she's been with another boy, I won't get back of her now. Yeah. yeah, but that, you saying that, you, it's well needed saying that now, but let's say the shoe was another foot. We're in Essex and there's always, always rumours been flying around, always. There's always going to be rumours about this, about you, out clubbing, if you've cheated, if I go back to Lydia. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what's playing on her mind. Maybe she's hearing rumours of you. Have you, like, do you mean, have you cheated? Of course not. I hear that, so she must say that. Yeah. Oh, God. Calm down yet? I'm calm. Have you, you calmed down? I tried to, yeah. I mean, I just think you're out of order to this morning the other night. I'm out of order. Yeah, I do think that, yeah. I'm out of order at all. I was like, the way you spoke to me, all I do is try and to be there for you, be there for Lydia. I feel you like haven't I'm, been there for me, Lauren, at all. 100% been there for you. You haven't really been there for me at all, Lauren. Lydia's got all her friends, her mum, and everyone there for me. I haven't really had anyone, to be honest with you. And, <laughs> and the, other, the other night, it was a massive thing for me to turn up to Lydia's party. I wasn't being horrible to you. I literally said, yeah, but all I was to go and to talk to her, Lauren, her away from the table. All I was trying to do, I went there to turn up. Yeah, I know, you was in the right state, I and I, I could see all that. All I wanted to do was give her a presence, quickly say what I had to say, and leave it at that. And that's all I wanted to do. And you made it so hard. Yeah, but you don't do that at her birthday. It was the worst thing you could have done, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. You well, don't listen to, to my decide, advice. Well, not really, because you're not getting very far, are you? You need to realise no, to I'd, stop suffocating. No, because the whole reason why I wanted to do it was to get it out of the way, so it's done. And I've told her that I'm going to give her space now, and that's the end of it. I didn't. But need you won't you. give her space. You I will give her space. space. I have. I've that's given what you her need space. To do. I'm trying to. I don't know. I just want to have a friend there, Lauren. I'm there I want for you. I want to have a girl that used to be my, one of my you. best friends who's all of a sudden, you know, all ganging up with Lydia. And, I'm and not I've got ganging no up. No one's ganging up. We've got to stop feeling sorry for yourself. I'm man up a bit and realise the situation that's what's happening. You're going what, for a breakup. Yeah. I'm there for both of you. Stop thinking the whole world rolls around you because it not. doesn't. Let's stop with your quiet, Sam. It's hard to get away in edge ways sometimes, isn't it? I don't want to row with him. I think it's more the fact that he turns on me and I think he thinks yeah. that I'm taking sides and I'm not, and that's it. I just think that it's not going to work with me trying to be your friend, Lydia trying to be your friend. I don't I be stupid. I just don't think it is. I think you're better off <laughs> you sticking with Lydia and I'll do my own thing now. So that's the end of it. Well, if you want to be like that, that's fine. Cool. Bye. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Who, who I choose to see and talk to unfortunately hasn't got anything to do with you. If I want to move on, okay. whoever I want to move on, I can, like you can. It's not my um, choice. <laughs> and about I've got loads of about ten sizes too small. <laughs> 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 what happened last time, mate?